Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek. I'm sitting down with the ever wonderful Rob Davio and Matt Leacock. Hey, Two forces joined at last. At last, peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah. I know, right? Yes. Yeah. I know. And this has been hotly anticipated. Yep. Pandemic Legacy. Pandemic Legacy. It's your, literally your baby. <laughs> A little bit. Kind of like a, a little, yeah, it really is. He, that's him and that's me. Yeah, right? there you go. It works out. So for those who maybe, if you're watching this, I would really be surprised. But those of you who haven't maybe heard of Pandemic or what the, the legacy part adds to it, why don't you give a brief overview of maybe what legacy, uh, legacy and Pandemic right, You start with Pandemic and I'll build on it. Sure, yeah. So the game Pandemic Legacy starts out a lot like regular Pandemic. You're trying to save the world, uh, cure the four deadly diseases. Uh, so you can open the box and get going right away. Then as you play, it gradually changes, it evolves. Yes. And then I'm going to hand over to, to Rob. Yeah, because some of the things you do in uh, every game will permanently change that game. So future games will be based on past games. So if you look here, the cities have these little stickers near them. That is the uh, panic level of the city. So every time there's an outbreak, you would take a sticker off the sticker sheet and it starts, it goes unstable, then it becomes rioting, then it collapses, and then it falls. And that's a lot of fun. <laughs> unless, you're play, unless you're playing. Yeah. It's fun for me as a designer. <laughs> yeah. How can we screw up the players this time? <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of discussions like that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> ups and downs, ups and downs, back and forth. Um, so you have characters that are in the game and they um, start out with, I think, the exact same powers as Pandemic, or uh, close there, to there, it. There's some tweaks. Um, but they can be upgraded and they can get scars. If they're in a city, when things go wrong, they gain a scar. So they get better and they get worse, but they carry over from game to game. Well, uh, I think it's fun to mention, too, that you can name your character yes. right. as seriously or totally and, not seriously okay. as you please. So you were a playtester. I was a playtester, yes. Uh, so <laughs> what were what was your favorite name that you put on there? Do you even remember? It's, I, been, oh, it's been a year. No, I totally remember. remember. Um, this, she was J-Lo because we thought she looked like Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Um, the reason Matt is not along with this is we videotaped this, so he a actually knows all this. Yeah, we've watched um, you talk about this, J-Lo. This, this was um, Lo J because we decided that... Um, we had to have the reverse of J-Lo. Yep. And then I don't remember exactly who it was, but we did have Sir Not appearing in this game as a spoof on Monty Python. Uh, sure. um, and then we also had a few that I actually can't mention on camera <laughs> because they got a little too dirty. Yeah. <laughs> we will not be sharing that video. That's right, yes. actually. Yes. Um, you get to name some things in here. You get to name the diseases when you eradicate them. I have seen some very not safe for you know, <laughs> regular audiences. consumptive names. Actually, I like this thread, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. right. It's your world. Um, one of the big Families. things is the Legacy deck, which is a deck of cards that comes in order. And it has a big stop on the top that tells you not to draw until you start playing. And as you play through the campaign, which takes 12 months, you uh, draw through this deck bit by bit over the course of all 12 months, revealing new things. And some of those cards will point you to these dossiers. Should I put it up or uh, put it over? You should lay it flat. Lay it flat. So these are things that you open. <laughs> I'm not going twice. to open it. That will add to the board. There's lots of dossiers. And then there are spots in the game which there are eight numbered compartments. And we even tell you how you're going to get to those. You know, it's a, as a play tester, you know, I, I, I got to experience this, so I, I, I know a lot of the spoilers, but I haven't seen the final product. They so weren't like, dossiers when you played. Ooh. Yeah, no, they were different. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it, it's a big event calendar. Like yes. It does look uh, like a big yeah, event yeah, calendar, yeah. yes. Now, I think, it, Matt, would you say that people who are not familiar, who've never played Pandemic before in, in, in any flavor, whether it be you know, the base yeah. game or curing thing, would they still feel comfortable like diving into this? Yeah, in their one very of the nice things game? is we made it so that uh, the base game is essentially built into the box. And we've got instructions so you can play that a couple times, get familiar, and then dive into the story. Yep. And hopefully. Yeah, if you've never played before, we tell you just. Yeah. Play three or four times, get or the hang of it, and then go borrow start pandemic right. from someone new. Yeah, well, and then one of the start <laughs> January. One of the advantages is we can gradually add to the complexity. So we start out pretty simple, and then you learn a little bit more, and a little, little, yeah. little bit more. So it's not overwhelming at all when you're playing. Now, and I, as was true, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, what, what, how do you win? When, when's the end of the game? So in this, it's a measurement of. of it's a time. campaign. Yeah, it's a campaign, a lot like a role-playing game. It's uh, you start in January and you go through December. If you win the month, you go to the next month. So if you do it perfectly, it'll be 12 months. Yeah, yeah good luck if, with that. Yeah, if you lose a game, you do that month. <laughs> yeah, if you lose a game, you do that month again, once, and then you automatically go to the next one. So if you lose every game, you'll play 24 times. And we've discovered that 16 to 20 is really, people are right in the middle of that bell curve. 
in terms of wins and losses. So that's about the number of games, and then you reach the end of the story and the end of the campaign. Now I know uh, one of the things that w was very interesting for us in trying to plan out this interview was like, well, yeah. what, what are we going to talk about? Because the surprise is is the meat of this game. Yeah. So right. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but um, how did you, since you are demoing this at the Z-Man and Phil Sophia booth, right. how have you tweaked that a little bit for convention play? So they, they get a flavor of it, but without spoiling the, the story and the yeah. surprises. Yeah. Right. Uh, they, the Z-Man put a lot of thought into the way they're going to demo it. So they actually have disposable map boards. So you get to sit down and they've got a sticker sheet and like a limited dossier. Right. And they've got like five, the first five cards. So right. you still get the pleasure you just of get like, a little, hey, yeah, you get a little taste board. of it. And right when it gets exciting, they're like, okay, thank you. Yeah, you play January <laughs> and into February. Right. So you can see how the system works, but you don't really commit to your world, so you don't mind going and starting over again. So it's again. like right. the first, the 10 free minutes you get on HBO? Yeah, yeah it's it a lot off. like that. Yeah. Right? Or the making of, or something yeah. like that. Or, you, get yeah, the, it's right. a, you get the trailer, and you, and you get to see how it works. Right. It's like a trailer, that's right. right. Yeah, exactly. Now, you have a second box over there, because... Yeah, a lot of people are saying... So it's going to be shiny. Well, why, why did you do two covers? Uh, I, I, need, a, I need to tell people they're identical no in size. Yes. I have a lot of people Nothing. coming up saying, sure they are. What's the real reason? They are identical exactly the inside. Straight from the source. I, I, if there was something different, I'd say, you'll see, but I'm not saying that. I'm saying they're identical. Right. Yeah. The <laughs> covers are different because um, a lot of, we noticed, or the publisher noticed with Risk Legacy, a lot of people bought multiple copies, either to save one for later or to play one with family and one with friends. And so they decided just to give people two different colors as a way to keep them separate. And it's turned into a fun little game of which one is yeah. winning. <laughs> right? Which one is more Well, and also popular. which one do you like? Which because one obviously like? the red one's the best. Right? I don't know. I kind of like blue. Do you like the blue? And I, I, and I know that the science isn't accurate for the people who... This, the, I, don't, I don't know It's I don't actually know a enough, mutation. So. Yeah, it's, I don't know <laughs> enough about science to know why it's wrong, but I know something's wrong with the covalent so bonds. Something about the carbon bonds there. Carbon bonds. Uh, you yeah. know, you could put a lot of psychology in this, that this is a more soothing color and this is a more anxiety-provoking color. I mean, oh, true, yeah. there's a lot of different ways you yep. could measure that. <laughs> but they're just, which one you like better? There's right, no difference. Yeah, by the one you like. Now, finally, for you guys, you know, I've... Obviously, you know, was part of your playtesting process, but yeah. since this was really a joint creation between the two of you, and you guys also live on opposite sides yeah. of the U.S., how did that work trying to blend your two styles together to make sure that this was a fair representation of both of you? Hector, how did oh, you, yeah. you divvy up the design here? Yeah, I've worked on a lot of uh, products, actually, for communicating across distances, yeah. so it was natural to me. Yeah, right? video conferencing was yeah. our friend. We yeah. talked about twice a week, sometimes right. as short as half an hour, often if we got on a roll a couple hours. And then we would divide it up. Uh, Matt tends to build the prototype, like the actual files of the prototype, and I do all the writing. And then <laughs> yeah. we kind of put them together, and then we play test with separate groups, and we just compare notes. And I've been out to his house twice now, like because I had to have a trip out there. So we do get face to face at conventions. Yeah, very complimentary <laughs> skill sets. Yes. Say. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say. I'm like, thank it, God he's editing the rules. And, you know, <laughs> God, he's making all the lines line up and, <laughs> and cutting things yeah, out. Yeah, well, of so that there's and, no stickers that go I mean, on fold lines. You know, those kind of things. Six hours each to make. Oh yes, I, yeah. and I'm the recipient of them, so oh, I really appreciate the time yeah, that you sure. took into. Yeah. <laughs> yes, these are not easy to make by hand. Yeah. No, right. for sure not. Yeah. <laughs> So for people who are now like, oh my god, I have to go out and get this right now, mm -hmm. this is available? Worldwide. It is. Worldwide. Ten wow. languages. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> people in Perth, Australia have it, which yeah, is Yeah, like the day one amazing. Perth, Australia had yeah. I'm like, that's, that's, that's good amazing. Distribution. That's yeah. good Again, distribution. we didn't want to spoil the surprise for anything, right. so it's just been blanketed across the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they wanted to do a worldwide release so that one language didn't necessarily get it ahead and accidentally spoil things. Although I've discovered people are really good about spoilers. Well, I have to say, so spoiler free, yeah. this is actually what happened in our house is we yeah. had played right up to the end and it, and it was it's very exciting and our group was really energized. We had a fantastic time and so then this, I think this was a Friday night and then, uh, no, excuse me, it was a weekday, it was probably Sunday night, heading into Monday morning. My alarm goes off at 5.15 and John says, I think we did something wrong. And then proceeds, <laughs> John, my husband, and then proceeds to list out everything that he thought we did wrong and then the solution to fix it. So he's like, so we're fine. We're fine. We did And I'm looking at him like, what? <laughs> he said, I was talking to him, he said he, he said he woke up at three and realized- Probably in a cold sweat. Yes. Yeah, we yeah, played no, a rule wrong. Yeah, 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 we played oh a rule wrong. Okay. I don't know if we did the ending right, but if I back I, up a couple turns, we, can fix we could it. have yeah. done it right. He's hilarious. So it's fine. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> 
So that was the experience we had yeah. in our yeah. house. And yeah. I, I, I don't want to toot your horns, but I have to say, you know, I've been, you know, in a board game player now for about 12 years. I've been in the industry for about five or six. This is probably one of the best experiences I've ever oh, thank had. Thank you very much, Hands man. Down. Thank you. I appreciate so. that. <laughs> and really having watched, that. been inflicting all of our videos upon you, you know how many jokes and memes. Oh my God! Yes, it was like hanging out with you guys. Yeah, we have watched a lot of you around your table. I was gonna say playing I, the game. I, um, I, I heard word from I think your wife that you kept talking back to the video. Uh, the recorded it did happen video. a couple times. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you forget it's not a video conference. I know, right? Right. Yeah. So if you want to have as much fun as we're having then you should go check this out. Thank you. Which, Rob Davio of Legacy Fame and Matt Leacock of Pandemic Fame, and that is Pandemic Legacy, published by Z-Man Games, Philosophia, and available everywhere. Yes.